Hey guys, welcome back for another Quest for the Sixes 55 build video. I know you're getting tired of them, you're ready for something new, like that Challenger project behind me, but trying to get these out, I've got four more, I think, until startup after this one. But I know you guys won't believe it because I never do this, but I have three videos edited. Yeah, already edited, ready to upload. I'll have them uploaded today, so they'll be releasing over the next three days. That is something you can actually count on. I usually say I'll do it, it doesn't happen, but they're actually edited, ready to upload. Um, we do have this Challenger project coming up, so that's what we're working on right now. So there will be a new build series right after that. Anyways, 55 build video. This is the video where we drop the engine in the 55. I begin wiring with Nick. There's a lot of stuff happening, lots of movement. We are in crunch period at this point. So go ahead and check it out. I think you'll enjoy this because it's starting to look like a car. have wiring schematics they're not even schematics wiring breakdowns breakdowns here on the floor and on these boxes so we've got all of that stuff kind of lined out i think we're going to start the day by working on chassis wiring we're going to get the main car wiring done so we have headlights uh tail lights turn signals so on and so forth we broke it down into like priorities so chassis wiring car can't run without that and then we're going to go to like the main holly wiring and then from there, we've got some cool sensors and add -ons stuff and, and add-ons that will be as time permits. Okay, I can probably start on this one because this is the beginning of never-ending wiring. I think it went on for a literal straight two weeks. Um, here we started wiring the front ends, uh, headlights. All we had starting this chassis wiring was just the pigtail. So we had the headlight pigtails and tail light pigtails and a flasher and the rest was make it up as you go so we're going through and using some wire care sleeving and going to run it through the bars in the front end you see jake and dad bouncing around over there we'll check in with them in just a second but lots of wiring i think we were in the way probably the entire time <laughs> um interesting note here when you point at the screen try to show where they're <laughs> they're not seeing your fingers pointing. I got that. 
But you, you literally, I mean, it, there was no pre-made harness. You were having to make it up as you go, like you say, and then trying to hide it and make it where it doesn't get in the way or get damaged. So you're boring tubes, boring holes in that tube that I put across from one side to the other and running the wires in that. So that slows things down a lot. And the goal there was uh, on the front cap, remember that it is removable. So we wanted to have uh, packs, weather packs, that way we could unclip and take the front end off and then also be able to um, clip it back together super quick and easy. So that's part of the reason it takes so much longer instead of just running a straight wire out to the headlights you have to put a weather pack connector in there and that definitely slows things down. Those little down. things are finicky too you got to bend over like six little teeth and make sure they bite into the wire and not break any of them off and yeah solder make, everything. And make the, sure all the wires are the same or the wires are the same length or else your weather packs end up all goofy and weird and the whole thing when we started this was Dad's like, make sure it looks good. Well, looking good and time frame is also not easy. Here's Jake working on brakes for the first time. Yeah, first pulling time. over a welder. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the brakes. When you when you're in a hurry like we were, you kind of forget to think ahead. So the brake lines he ran under there and they looked good. See? You can see them, but they're also in the way of the belly pan. You know, I'm I'm doing other things right there. I'm grinding where I welded a steel floor in on the driver's side, and you you don't you know I'm not paying that close of attention to what he's doing because he's doing what he knows how to do it. But then I get under there at some point and go to put a belly pan. It's like oh crap, there's a brake line right in the way. <laughs> Jake was tired of brake lines by the end for sure. So steel floor on driver's side, going through DAing it here, making it look as nice and smooth. It looks like you did that in like 20 minutes, right? Yeah, there. I'm fast, aren't I? <laughs> Too bad it wasn't really that fast. I thought this was quite fine. This is the multiple uh, positions of working on a tube chassis car. This I is know, very that's not high my speed. Feet. Very high speed. Jake is just back and forth, back and forth in here. You were on the ground and we got a froze screen. Okay, now we're caught up. Here you are boring some holes because you're cutting the slot for the brake pedal. The, the I floor. guess I probably I had it all in and fit, but I had now I have to make it go up through a floorboard, which, you know, like I say, you do everything two or three times. It's just really hard. I'm sticking the pedal up like, oop, it doesn't fit. Oops, it doesn't fit. Rewatching oh, this. There it goes. Check <laughs> it out. That the problem with that is, is you can go a little bit too much, and it's like, oh crap, I just ruined my floor. Yeah, rewatching this again is like. Um, like it's a first for me because I don't remember half of the stuff. When I was editing yesterday, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. Huh. It's pretty painful pretty to neat. rewatch. It is me. actually. I was like having horrible memories yesterday. But <laughs> We built that whole car and those whatever that was, two or three weeks of massive crunch there on the floor. I mean, you can see. We've got lifts. Did we put it on lift? No. It's really funny. You can see right there the time lapse. You see the car go up and down, but you see that in multiple places in the time lapse. It probably cut most of it out because there was always someone below and above, and so the weight just moving in and out of the car through the course of the time lapse, you see it going up and down. It's really pretty funny because there had to be somebody on every corner at all points. Well, one of the things that we realized after none of us really paid much attention was the front was on jack stands, the rear was on a floor jack, and it sat on that floor jack under the rear end housing for literally two weeks, I guess. And we'd raise it up and down based on that floor jack. I mean, it's not, it was very light, it wasn't dangerous, but it literally <laughs> sat on a floor jack. and. We, you couldn't really build this car on a lift like we did because there's just too many posts and things in the way. We're we're like, like little ants there, kind of. <laughs> we're just we've all got a job and we're just bouncing from corner to corner. But look at that. That car's hollow at this point. I don't know how far ahead of this. We don't. We have we're uh, after this. We'll have three, three, four more videos. So a lot happens in that time. I went through so many wires. My fingertips were like totally chewed up because I twisted wires and I know somebody will say something about soldering them with a torch but um, there was about I think about five million different connections I had to make so if we sat and did it the proper way we would still be here I think I don't care if they say anything or not <laughs> I've wired hundreds of cars with a torch and I don't have any issues I've never had a wire ever break that I'm aware knock of knock on that wood that this computer no, sitting I'm on not, <laughs> I'm not worried about that at all I'm doing it I, I do use the iron Look, if it needs on, to be an iron. Hang on, hang on. Look, the floor is getting clean. That was one of the last days the shop was clean because the wiring crew is in full force here, and we kind of got stuff everywhere. 
but there was at this point we were all still laughing you'll see it in some of the regular video we we're all joking around having a good time we still we weren't sleeping a lot but we were still laughing i mean we did have fun but the last week it was not fun it's not fun <laughs> it became unfun it became torture and everybody was hot and pissed <laughs> and you know we we're running out of time when it you know I am the one that's experienced in it, and I knew that we were in trouble, and it was hard to convince people that we were going to have a hard time making this deadline, and we didn't. We didn't make the deadline, but... That's for another video. We're not there yet. So, back and forth here, lots of stretching and uh, getting stuff straight. There was so many, so many more. Oh, but look. See, I left that, because look at you, what you see swinging back there. Retro's motor going in the 55. Oh, pause. Okay, so there's been a lot. Of <laughs> this is what I feel like. The geriatric ward is slipping. <laughs> you know what? The chain was perfectly blocking that. I didn't even see it. Anyways, so. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. There has been a ton happen. However, I'm going to have to walk you through. It's been a lot of time lapses, but I'll show you what's going on. So basically, Nick and I have got a lot of wiring done back here. Um, it is not permanently mounted, but check out these cool little tabs. These little, um, I don't even know what they're called. But anyways, they're from Wirecare. We had them shipped in Saturday delivery. And they're these little tabs that are zip tied. So they're actually super sticky. I was worried how well they would stay up, but to get those off, it's hard. So anyways... We've got this. This is for the trailer, so that will come out here for all that. But we've got it traced over here, and then we've got it loosely hung up in the quarter, and then going forward. So we've got all the wiring back here. Well, not all the wiring. For the basics, like the lights and stuff wired, um, we have it running up the B pillar here, so as you can see. And then we have it crossing over up here. And then we're going to come down the back and we've actually decided to mount the fuse block right here. So we'll have limited wires going over and then we're going to run the rest underneath. So I'll have to show you guys that as we go. But Jake got the brakes ran. Dad got the driver's side floor in, which this is going to be, as he said, the hardest side because um, it was steel, so he bead rolled it and all that, got it fitting. And then these others, the other side will be carbon fiber. The rear will be carbon fiber. They'll probably be steel up the back to be determined. But anyways, so they're working on some other stuff right now. Let's go check it out because we're getting ready to put the motor in. So we've got mid plate right here. Sup, fellers? What you guys doing? Maybe this chisel. Yep, chisel. No comment? Busy. Busy. That's it. That's all we heard. Try that. Oh, put it back in. It's tried to come out. Okay. We'll check back with this at a later date and time. Anyways, I think they're dealing with something for converter. So that'll be going in shortly. How exciting to see that in here. Oh, we also got this done. So we got the wires ran up here. So these will be weather packed. And we're gonna switch this where these will be opposite sides, you know, male and female opposite. So anyways, what's done? What's more to do? 1057, made an appearance. Put a big sack on there, put a couple tech welds on it, and try to rotate. All day long. We can put some temperature on it. Okay. Moving on. We're gonna do one last ditch effort and heat the actual ring itself because we need to hit it with some. Here's one. Give you first. Or... Did you take no. my fancy and put two tables on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get kicked out. Are you doing something? 
Unfortunately, there's no motor in the car yet. with this kind of stuff for way before you were even a twinkle in your daddy's eye. It is a monumental moment. About to drop it in. Hey. <laughs> okay, about to um, put it in for the first time. This is a huge deal, really, it is. look at it so they went chains in front and chains in rear like we would do on my car or dad's car but with the setback firewall the chains are actually hitting the cow so just doing a little bit of maneuvering right now so that way lift the back with the jack and the front will stay on the chains but this is so crazy so much more real holy smokes so as we're sitting here talking, as uh, dad is getting this front plate ready to go, he said, you know what? Do you guys see the issue before I say it? Yeah. Our front cap's not going to clear. Do you see the height difference there? So that's going to space up two inches on top of that. So we figured out now, we didn't know this prior, we're going to have to do a some kind of scoop. I'm thinking we're gonna go with a two-lane black top scoop because that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, people. All right, it is in. What is it? Twelve thirty. Twelve. 30. You guys look so energetic. We're kind of delirious, especially you. I'm just having a good time now. No, you're delirious. Delirious. You guys are just a hoot and a holler over there. I'm going to take delirious. a picture of that. Yeah. There's a nitrous bottle you've been hitting. That's our bedtime. The geriatric. <laughs> the geriatric <laughs> ward needs geriatric ward needs to go to bed. We're going out of WD-40 to keep on lubricated. <laughs> Well, wait. Now, you Dad's you being quiet. I've got all kinds of replies. I know. I don't want to get roasted. His knees sound like a rusty bolt coming apart. Oh. Ooh. I think it's cross-threaded. <laughs> Nick is the pillar of health and fitness. Oh, yeah. Jake works like 14 to 16 hours a day like me. Okay, the geriatric you guys will be lucky to keep up when you're 30. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. We'll be like 100 and we'll still outwork you. I'm done being roasted. I thought you were going to talk about the motor. Well, I was, so you started talking trash. Like, no. you're done all night. I started talking trash. <laughs> I started talking trash after I got back from Iraq. My middle daughter was in track and my oldest daughter was in Europe. You know, how they got on my old ass. They kept talking trash, talking trash for like six months. I mean, I've gave myself six months to get out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day I'm like, all right, we rolled the house. I'm like, get your running shoes. <laughs> we went back to the track in town and I pulled an old Ranger mind trick on them. I ran the first lap hauling ass. They all quit. <laughs> I didn't even have to run a mile. <laughs> He's fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd have been done by the second. I'm gonna invest heavy yeah, and hope for the best. Wow, Anyways, <laughs> back to the motor. It looks good. But uh, like I said, hit scoop. Hit scoop. Yeah, you gotta decide. You're on Ooh, camera. Wow. I can't help it. <laughs> you don't stop one of those in the middle of one. 
It's going to get a cowl hood and look modern, a two-lane scoop and look 1972, or a teardrop scoop and look 1968. Ah, okay. Options. Options. 72. Let's take a vote. Who votes what? Two-lane. Two-lane. Raise your hand if it's two-lane. Modified two-lane. Well, majority of two lanes. What do you want? Well, you're not a cool kid. You want the junk sticking out. I of wanted time. to leave the front cap off entirely, but I don't think that's very aerodynamic. We could just like mold some aluminum to a point and make it split the air. Put a couple of big glass doors on the front. Wait, Alex yeah. and I have too much work. Like a steam train. Steam locomotive <laughs> yeah. with the brush. There you know, you they kick the trees oh, off still the still puts up on the front like a splitter. There's a lot of cattle out in, in Colorado. We're just gonna break our ankles. <laughs> he wants to just make the junk stick up, right? I reckon I do. Well, you got that on yours, right? That's what I'm hearing, right? <laughs> just done. Okay. Why are you too famous? <laughs> Anyways, scoop to be determined. That because my nose is really it. There's that nose thing again. Move it. I, do. I think I got a hair. A Mika hair. Whatever. Okay, Mika's done for the really night. You're so cute. Just a little floofy cute. Mika, you ready to go home? Hey, you ready to go home? Let's go home. You wanna go home? Go talk to dad. You can probably go home. Yeah, talk to dad. Go home. Good girl. Happy watch that show. Okay, there's, there's a lot of these throughout this. You'll see more coming up. I think these are fun because you see the total amount of movement in the shop. Tons and tons. This is actually a calm day, too. It's actually a what? Calm day. So at this point, this is actually the next day for you. You don't you probably don't know that yet. But this is the next day. Adrian has got the trim on, you can see. So you see a little bit of change right there. Uh, engine is in for the first time, second time, I think. This is when, at the point when you guys were going back and forth, making sure it had the right tilt. So, Jake was going back and forth with wanting a piece machined exact. We were, we put that engine in and the transmission and set back that night and we we're like high fiving and thinking, oh, this is going so good, it's so bitching. And you have no idea, or we had no idea, how much there was to do from this point. I mean, we do it all the time, but it was just like this one, like I said before, I think I'm in hell. Because this is this one just took extremely a lot of hours and work from this point, way more than I thought. Seeing the trim go on, there's mom with her <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> camera. I had to leave that. There's like three dogs running around. You'll see that. See, here's where you're back, back and forth with this. So it technically came out again, not all the way out. I forget there was something. What was the deal there? It was. So you ended up making because of the drive shaft angle, I believe, is what it was. Or I can't even remember. There was some reason we had to pull it out. We had it in, thought we had... It was the... What was the deal? Something to do with the mid plate. Because you were going to make a, a spacer all the way around. You remember you ended up not having to? Yeah, but there was some rear... It was some simple little thing that we... Because of the way the mid plate is and the transmission mount and the front plates, we couldn't just move it back. It was something to do with... I don't remember transmission, but anyway, we had to pull the motor out a couple different times, and it, it's not a great big deal, but it's like you got it in and bolt it up, and you think, yeah, I'm getting close, and then nope, got to come back out. Yeah, it uh, that that went back and forth. That took a whole day, probably half a day. Well, it depends on if you're counting it as a 12-hour day or a 24-hour day. Yeah, our days at, at that Counted point were <laughs> literally 20 to 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, Jake is working on brake lines for the second time. This is when he, I had already interviewed him here. This is earlier, but he was over brake lines by that point. <laughs> Look at that nice firewall. No no electronic stuff on Can it. Can we run a car without electronics, without nice any floorboards, wires? Nice you know, floorboards. No sign of floorboards. We decided to do steel floorboards on both sides. We're going to do carbon fiber. And it, at that point, it's like, man, we're going to be beating in and out of this thing so much. Let's just go ahead and you do You got 10 seconds. Gear vendor, transmission out, and then now we are getting ready to go back to talking. All right. You're on to chrome trim duty. Trim duty. Trim duty. Trim duty. I feel like this is a good role, good task. Body man. I don't know. That's my dad. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Something to do with making stuff look good. You like 
shiny. But it's thing. already polished. Okay. Who's supposed to do that? You would probably not approve of my polishing. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, it's that, pretty rough. I try to do it quickly. I think this is the one I did. You know I why? Did. It's because you don't have the little oh, no. three-inch Milwaukee. This isn't proper. This is the other trim. Oh, okay. Well, you're setting this kid up for failure, aren't you now? Yeah, I just She's realized just that. She's just I like stuff to be shiny. Oh. Well, actually, I don't know what's going on. Some of this is proper. Some of it's not. The stuff that looks really rough is not my work. Yeah. All right, touch it. Let me sort that out. I'll get back to you. I'm going to pull up a lot of Googles. I can help lay out if that helps. That's what I'm doing. Okay, all the tags too say where they go. Yeah. I've done some 57. I hadn't done a 55. Trim is very different. Mm -hmm. Also, this is an important job because this is something that was going to get left off because we just weren't going to have time to do it. Yeah. So, and somebody's just not a morning person. You're a cranky son of a gun. It's because you don't go to bed. I had work to do. No, you, Adrian, were you working at 4.30 this morning? Yep. Liars. We came back here, you don't even know. <laughs> Tell her what we did last night. We came back. Because you we don't We brainstormed, know. so we had a plan together today. Yeah. You guys so didn't know which... more efficient. I am not seeing efficiency. The serviceability of You're this car... You're snoring. Off the charts. I if I hear that off word one charts. more time. Did you know... Hey, yesterday I heard the word serviceability 52 times. Did you know that car has... I hear it 53 times. Oh, is that a Nick word? Yes. Okay, you remember that say, one? Remember you remember that. that one in like 2014 where him and Alan Rankin kept saying, Rome wasn't built in the day. Yeah, very well. <laughs> we proved them wrong. 100 proof. <laughs> Was built in the day. <laughs> now he's cranky. He's over there in his head cussing me out. I ain't. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Trim. Trim going on, it looked, that was when we were like, oh, look at these little finishing touches going on. It was not a finishing touch. It was actually right at the beginning of the thrash, but it did make a difference. I loved seeing the chrome go on the rough paint. It looked good. That was the whole goal when we did it was rough paint, but nice everything else. Yeah, that's a nice quarter panel inside. That's the thing about it. You, the car looks like hammered doo-doo on the outside, but you look inside and you know, it's all bed liner. It was, it's really not. The firewall's bare steel, and so it kind of gives you the illusion that it's going to rust, but it's also clear coated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked, I liked chrome on it. Um, it. It was nice to see that go on. So um, here, transmission was out. You saw on that last time lapse. Now we're going back, uh, getting ready to put it back in for, I think, the last time. What was that piece that Jake had you machine like within a thou half a thousands or something crazy? The, it was a snout off of the torque converter. That's it unscrews was. and he's very particular wanting it to be, to slip into the crankshaft to be exact. That's what, it, what, that's what you were doing here. That's why I was asking yeah. ahead of time. But I think he went back and forth. I have it in video like 10 times. Like, <laughs> dude, this isn't a piano. <laughs> We don't have to be that accurate. Jake is particular, though, which is a good thing. Particular's good. Yeah, but it doesn't take much rust to fill up a half a thousand either. <laughs> and they usually end up with a little bit of rust or chafe. There he is, like, hey, you doing that right? <laughs> Give me that. So, yeah. It's... I skipped a bunch of those, but he was finally satisfied it was going in. So, nice uh, crawling around on our back. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> but it was, and, you know, it's bad right there, but... It was that's nothing as what's come because the, the underneath that car was just covered with wire clippings, you know, everything, anything to do with wiring, and then every tool out of our toolbox was underneath that it car. It literally became a jungle gym. You saw me crawl out, but everybody was just crawling in and out of these bars the entire time. Um, I think this was my like spot of punishment. I just stayed in the spot wiring for two weeks. It was. It was so much going on that there was times that I just had to stand back because I couldn't get to what I needed to do. That was the problem. We were all working in the same spot. Like, you see in a couple spots where I would be out so Jake could get in, Dad could come in. Like, there was just, it was a rotation of, okay, I need in this spot. This is where we're contemplating what the heck we're doing. What are we doing? Why are we doing? <laughs> There's a couple spots where everybody just kind of stops and stares. Just stops. The best day at the shop is when it's burger day mom has yep. all the burger stuff set up it's a lot of burgers even the pups got a burger 
Adrian's ready to go. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, new video tomorrow will be out and then another one right after that. So lots and lots of stuff coming out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging in for this series. It's a long one, but it's a real build series and that's what I want to emphasize. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, but until then, be happy, go fast and stay pretty.